Revelation, Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell, that dwell upon the earth. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Hashem El Shah by Hashem Kodash. The Wadi Yahweh Hashem El Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who deserve double honors rightfully so. Shout out to the Akim, pushing the word of sincerity and truth, being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles hitting the soils of America. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord lifted up the whole full elect into the chambers. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord shooting laser beams down ungodly and heathens. Rightfully so. Hey, I brought this out of the Lord to take the course of this video. I'm just a vessel. And, um, <clears throat> everything is all over the place in my brain. In my mind, I'm, I was trying to narrow it down. But what made me turn this camera on today, right now, at this moment of time, is 2.30 a.m., Tuesday, April 26th, the year to turn up. When we return this camera on at this moment, I was watching Apostle Tahar's video, right? And, um, well, listening, should I say, because he was speaking and I was listening. And, um, he said, we all will be tested. And that's the name of this video. We all are going to be tested by Yahweh Yahweh Shah. See, I realized that, you know, that uh, Apostle Ha and all the elders, all the apostles and the elders, they are spokesmen for Yahweh Shah. And they're telling you, as it always been prophets, and that's one thing I've, I've grasped in this, from all the way from the beginning of the scriptures, it's always been individuals speaking in the behalf of Yahweh Yahweh Shah. And Yahweh Shah came on the earth to be a spokesman for Yahweh. So it's been a it's been a it's been a chain of command. And um yeah, and Yahweh and, and you know Yahweh Shah said the same thing. We all gonna be tested. And Apostle Hart said in the behalf of Yahweh Yahweh Shah that we all gonna be tested. And we are doing the same thing. We are all being prepared for this test that's coming. What is the test? The hour of temptation is is Bismarck. Got it, got it. Bismarck, Bismarck. Uh, you gotta throw so you gotta throw off the algorithm. Cause this is ridiculous. That's how you know. You know, if you say something, then it's gonna, it's gonna everybody gonna be mad about it. Yes. Even oh. Cause this is a spiritual war. And we're all going to be tested. I can't stop saying that because it stuck out. This is why I turned the camera on. But I got a few. I brought this out. The, you know, the spirit of Yahweh Shem El Shai will narrow this down. You know. All right. Let's read this again. So this is the first verse that, that stuck out to me when he said that we're all going to be tested. All right. And it says, Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. All right. These, the, um, the patience is to suffer for Yahweh Yahweh Shah. And these words, this is in these scriptures. And this is where, this is where, this is where our patient lies at. The comforting of these words. The being comforted by these words. And, like I said, that's what I was listening to Apostle Hall video. And he said, we all going to be tested. We all going to be tested by Yahweh 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 Shah. And he's going to get out the elect. The elect is going to get out. All right. The elect of Yahweh Yahweh Shah is going to get out. Because this is what it tells you right here. Please here. Like I said. Well, because thou has kept the word of my patience. I also will keep. I will. I also will keep thee. 
from the hour of temptation. Who is going to keep from the hour of temptation? The elect. I'm going to verse to prove that. That he's everything is done to the elect is, is after see it's it's the it's the compassion and the mercy of Yahweh Shem Shah. Cause he these elites is thinking they're gonna get away with something. And they mind, oh, we're gonna do this because um their power is not with them. Right? But to do the Lord behold, the Lord uh, um little do they know our power is with us. And I brought this on one of those men. I, I, I brought this on one of these men that he's gonna that he's gonna do this for. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So it's gonna be a trial. But look what it says. It says right here, right? Jeez. Oh, it's a lock. I wasn't even really on it. Jeez. All right. Let's lock it. But see, um. All right. Hold on. I have something else. All right. Let's go here. All right, this is what he said. This one, this is what Yahweh Shah said. Right, he said this here too. He said this in Matthew. Like I said, I was I'm all over the place, based upon the verses I was reading. I was like, wow, I was going through verses, and I was like, certain things was just leading up to, what I was trying to bring it together, but it's in the spirit, and um, I read this verse too, right? Because I was just you know, it, it woke I woke up to it, and then I heard I was listening to the video. And and um, this is what he said. He said we all. And it just fell out of my head. He said we are all gonna be tested to the same, to the fact that some to the fact like that. I'll go back and say it and watch it again. But that's the name of this video. Whatever Apostle Hall just said, the, the the few words he said that triggered that first verse, which is Revelation chapter three verse ten, right. And I'm reading this, right? I read this. I, I about to get the rest of these verses just to get a little um, expound on a few of them. Uh, it, says, it says Matthew chapter 24, verse 1. No, chapter 24, verse 21. For then shall, for then shall be great tribulation. Right? Such as, such as was not since the beginning of the world. I do believe that's in Daniel's too. I do believe that's Daniel's twelve. That's that's the out um is that and Jacob's trouble. This is just coming right now. Just I read this right now and that's what jumped in my head. All right. Revelation. I mean, Matthew chapter twenty four verse twenty one. Then then, for then shall be great tribulation, such as such as was. Not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. Nor, I mean, no, nor ever shall be. After this, it's not going to be no more. Except the, those, except those days be shortened. And the days are being shortened because today is going, it's Tuesday right now. And we just left camp and camp is right around the corner again. Just like all the temptations right around the corner. Um, oh, it was just a saying I just heard. Um, oh, I can't remember. Something to the effect, um, anything can happen in a day. Something to the effect like that. I heard Apostle um, Gabal say that. Something to the effect like that. He didn't say it exactly like that, but it was something. Him and Apostle Ramla was doing a video, and he said something like that. He said, anything can happen in, in that day. You get up, anything can happen. You don't know what you don't know what today brings. It's something to the fact like that. Which just jumped back in my mind, but it wasn't accurate the same way he said it. But in those days, these shortened days, anything can happen. You know? We just we did in 2019. It just um when 2020 came in, it was a whole nother another, another spirit. 
anything happening before the day is up. Right? Accept those days, right? And accept those days be shortened. There shall no flesh be saved. See, it's a lot of things. Those days, in these days, we in those days now. He was talking about this 2,000 years ago. But the days he's talking about is now. It's happening. Those days, these guys, you got to do this quick. So we can get the elect out of here. It's, it's about the elect. See, the elect is still, like this says, like this says right here uh, um, on this picture right here, which I just took it because there's another verse. I hope I can read it. It's another verse that I, I, I got that led to this, this picture. I wrote this out and get it. Actually, it was the spirit because the verse I started with, which was Revelation chapter 3, verse 10, led me to the other verse, and I was praying that the verse was a part of the precept. And it was. That other verse, Revelation chapter 10, chapter 3, verse 10, was a part of the revelation, and part of the, um, the precepts. So I was, I was, I was grateful to all y'all watching me on shot for that. All right, except those days, I mean, Matthew chapter 24, verse 22, except those days shall be shortened. There should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. See, it's for the elect's sake. Things that's happening is for the elect's sake. And the elect is going to have the greatest story. Ooh, it's the greatest story. You're going to have the greatest story. You know? I brought this on one of these men. Because I was, oh, another thing Apostle Cabal said, right? He said, um, that it was so exciting when he said, it excited me. And he said, him and Apostle Ramla was sitting down, they was doing a video, and he said, the glass is getting clearer and clearer. And he was like, can you see it? I was like, yes, can you see it? I was like, yes, I can see it. It's so clear. I said, yes, it's, it is clear. It's clearing up. The pieces of the puzzle, the pieces in these shortened days, it's clearing up. It's coming together. So like I said, I don't know where I'm at. It just, these thoughts are just coming in my mind. And it just, as I, um, like I said, um, Apostle Tahar, he, um, um, geez, it's now I'm talking and I forgot what he said. He said, um, oh, we all going to be tested. Okay. We all going to be tested in these days. In, in, in our temptation, which these days is leading up to, every day something happens. It may not, you may not hear about it, or somebody, somebody else may hear about it, and they'll spread the news. So the, the, that's a part of the good news. See, the news, in the news, in the news is the, God, the gospel is the news, and the news is the gospel. So it's the good news for the elect. Because we want to get the hell out of this damn world, this society, this um, eon. We want to get out of this age. What is age to end? It's old and rapid, rotten and decrepit, just like our Babylon king. Which I keep saying in my mind, I don't know why I keep saying, like, why do I like he's faking? If he if he really is dimension or whatever, it just doesn't, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't fit no more. It's like it's like a um, a cultic personality. Like somebody told him to act like that. Because you can't. He can't. For me, from for my mind, I don't know. <laughs> if it is fake, if it is real, it's real. If it's fake, it's fake. I don't know. But it keeps jumping out at me. Like he's faking. And then he said, you know, Pastor Hall always brings this up. He said, um... Why you don't, somebody asked him, why you don't go over there and help Ukraine? And all of a sudden he said, that'd be World War Three. Who says shit like that that quick? Maybe his mind jumps in and out. I don't know. So like I'm all over the place. But um, I did television for quite a while. Not knowing I was going to be able to be doing, be doing it. But, you know, sometimes, you know, it's a spirit. Of, it's like the spirit, the spirit of Yahweh Shema to put you in, your, in, in the situation you know, you learn something. Like right now, you know, I wish I'd have, I had a better vocabulary. I'd probably have been a, a genius. 
But that's that was not my lot, you know. I probably would have never been the truth if I'd have been the ultimate know-it-all, you know. By me not knowing it all, I'm humbled. Because I'm learning. All right? So, Salakia. So Except those days shall be shortened. Then there should no flesh be saved. Then, see, the Lord, if, if he don't shorten his day, there'll be no flesh saved. So this is for the, the flesh that's going to be saved is the elect's flesh. And they're going to be, everybody, we, the Apostle Hall said, we all going to be tested. So he's not, no one's being excluded from this test. Right? But for the elected sake, those days shall be shortened. Then if any man should say, un, well, that's the point. All right. That's the point. So, um, well, I got this, um, uh, this um right here it says it says Yahweh while Yahweh Shah is faithful he will not allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. See the that's talking to the elect, the elect, the electos, electos. He's talking to them. Those when you hear that electos is going. That means the one of the elect is going up. <laughs> you know. So that's what I hear when I when I when I say that's what I that's what I see and I hear when I, when I say that because I seen it in a, um, a commercial that they because you know I don't know I'm just I'm all over the place Salakia the um, commercial Nike commercial and what do Nike mean or Foot Locker or something well Nike means victory and I think he was in a pair of Nikes or some shit. I don't know. I, it's just so much that like it's going to be revealed. The glass is getting clearer and clearer, like Apostle Cabal said. So that's what's happening. Um. So uh, I didn't, let me see. I had another verse. I read that one. Let me see what this one says. Yeah. Okay. So these are the things that's being tried. And when we read in Revelation chapter, um. Chapter 3, verse 10, that, what, what it said, let's go back again real fast, real quick. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. See, that's everybody, everybody going to have an hour of temptation. Everybody going to have an hour of that trial. You know? And everything that's happening right now is in, is, if you, if you were elect, right? I brought this out in the elect, right? You, we are being prepared for this hour. Everybody's going to be tested. I will also, this is the key point, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. So he's going to keep you from getting, even if you, if you get your head chopped off, he kept you from the hour of temptation. If you able to get out, if you able, if something happened, like soon they try to put that something on, they, um, they come to you and test you. Oh, you're going to do They got your child head. They got your head, your child head in the guillotine. That's your hour. If you don't take it, we're going to chop your baby head off. No, what we we'll do? I'm with the lawyer. I'm watching me. I'm sorry. No. And then the building, the back, the wall blows out. And then, and then, um, there's an angel there. You just pass your test. That's him keeping you from the hour of temptation. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So everybody, everybody's, everybody, we all going to be tested. And this is why I love these great men. Because they not, they not say, oh, oh, I got the power. You know, it's just showed our diligence. But the, they, the um, our apostles back then was, was put, had got their head chopped off. They was, um put in, um, in prison, stoned to death. So what's good, what's, we're not more, our, our king, especially, he was um, put on a cross. So we are not greater than the king. He got tested by Satan. I'll give you all these words, these worlds. So it's happening. We're all going to be tested. And 
like I said, like he says in this um on this picture, Yahweh Osha is faithful. He will not allow the temptation to be more than you stand. 